Well, Amelia Earhart spoke on stage there. Wrestlers have gone toe to toe. Robin Williams and George Carlin told jokes, and Whitney Houston belted out her songs. The lyric has been giving audiences a huge variety of entertainment for 120 years. 11 News reporter Megan Pringle looks at what it takes to stay relevant. From the magic of Disney Live to the gravity defying stunts of Cirque du Soleil, there is something for everyone at the Lyric. It's been entertaining audiences for 120 years. Wasn't Dancing Pirates back in 1894 that welcomed live music to the then called Music Hall? It was the Boston Symphony Orchestra. When it was built, its purpose was to bring a variety of entertainment. It was the first demonstration of electric cooking on stage at the Lyric. And who would have thought a hundred years later we'd have Alton Brown also on stage to also demonstrate cooking. It's managed to stay relevant, which has been part of the success in surviving. Through the years, they keep bringing interesting shows and big name performers. Even though they've gone through many facelifts, they also work hard to hang on to pieces of the past. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake has great memories coming here as a kid, but looks forward to seeing the shows as an adult just as much. In order for it to stay for the next 120 years, they have to continue to put on you know, top quality shows to make sure it's a diverse offering, and that's what I would like to see. They do a great job at it, and I'd like to see that continue. October 31st is the true birthday of the Lyric, and on that particular evening, they'll be rehearsing for a true classic, Madam Butterfly, but they say they'll be celebrating their birthday far beyond that date. Montana is here next week. November 13th is Aretha Franklin. Uh, Disney Live is here in early December, and Smokey Robinson also returns in December. Diverse shows for all ages and walks of life. That's their plan to stay around for the next 120 years. In Mount Royal, Megan Pringle, WBAL, TV 11 News.